Hello students, I hope that you guys are well. Um, I hope that you guys are having a fantastic Tuesday today. Um, since today's Tuesday, I'm going to be showing you a video um, that has to do with Spanish. I'm going to also post a video on Thursday that has to do with something else that um, I'm going to explain a little later. What we're going to do today, this video is going to be a little more simple, but what we're going to do is we're going to be going over colors. So I know that lots of you guys already know your colors. Colors are too easy for you. I know, I get it. But what we're going to do today is I'm just going to quickly review some of these colors because I know that sometimes we might forget them. So really quick, blue is azul, pink is um, rosado, white is blanco, red is rojo, green is verde, purple is morado, and yellow is amarillo. There are some other colors that if you're in fifth grade also, if, um, there's some colors that we have already learned like silver, gold, um, and um, other colors that I can't think of right now, but there are other colors that we can also use that. But when I'm gonna, why we're going over colors is because I'm going to have you guys submit a, um, a video that you guys are going to show me eight different household items that you have um, and tell me the name of it in Spanish and the color. For example, I have this, right? This household item that lots of you guys have and you guys use to eat, right? It's a fork, but in Spanish it's called a tenedor. And this color is plateado, which is silver. If I was a student, I would say this tenedor is plateado or este tenedor is plateado. I do have another item here that I know a lot of people have been crazy looking for. For some reason um, during this time but it's toilet paper okay and I actually didn't really know how to say toilet paper in Spanish um, to be honest then I had to google it um, to learn how to say toilet paper in Spanish but um, it's papel higienico and that is a proper way of saying um, toilet paper which if you translate it it would be hygiene paper um, so if I showed you this papel higiénico, it would be papel higiénico blanco. So this toilet paper is white. And my next item I'm going to show you is this mug. So um, in Spanish it's pretty interesting because there are different words for different items. When I googled, right, I already knew how to say mug, but when I googled it to see um, which word it would give me they gave me several options for this one item so depending on different regions in um, spanish-speaking countries there's many ways that you can say a mug in spanish but the word i'm going to use today is un jarra so this is a jarra and this jarra is azul okay and my next item is this notebook so i know lots of you guys know that i love llamas and as you can see, I have a llama notebook with some really colorful and cute llamas on it. And the background of this um, notebook is blue. So I would say un notebook would be cuaderno. And I would say un cuaderno azul. And then I would just go on and on in different items. But the last item I'm going to show you right now is another very popular item that is very hard to find and it's hand sanitizer. And hand sanitizer in Spanish is alcohol in gel, which is another um, item that I showed you today that has different, um, there's different words that you can use to describe this and to say in Spanish. So this means alcohol in gel, which means um, gel alcohol cleaner, sort of. So it's hand sanitizer. This it doesn't really have a color since it's clear, but another word for clear could be claro. So I could say um, alcohol en gel claro. So, so far I've showed you a tenedor, un um, jarra, papel higiénico, un cuaderno, and um, gel, no, alcohol en gel. So that's um, four items or five items that I actually showed you. So I'm going to be challenging you to show me eight, eight different items that you have um, at your home and you're going to tell me the item's name in Spanish 
and the color of this item. So remember that you have to tell me both. Don't just tell me the name of the item. Tell me the name of the item and the, um, the color as well. If there are items that you do not know, because I know there's items that I didn't know. I didn't know how to say toilet paper, okay? Yeah, surprisingly. Um, but just Google it, go on Google Translate, maybe ask a family member before you Google Translate. Maybe you might be surprised that someone in your family also knows know the words and might they might know different words for that one item. Um, so send me in those videos, I would love to see them. Um, just eight different items and then I just would love to see how you guys do. And on Thursday, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be uploading a video that has to do with Duolingo. So on Thursdays, um, I'm gonna be going over some words um, for Duolingo and I'm actually gonna be sending out passwords, um, username and passwords for each um, upper elementary students to do Duolingo out. Using Duolingo is really fun. I actually learned it when I was trying to learn a different language as well. So it is really creative to do. Um, if you want to use Duolingo, um, definitely it will teach you some words that we probably haven't gone through yet in Spanish class and it's going to be very fun. Um, it's only like about 10 minutes per lesson. What I'm going to do is I'm going to challenge some of you guys to get a certain amount of points in Duolingo. So what I'm going to do on Thursday is I'm going to go over those words that they're going to tell you and tell you a little bit about them. And then I'm going to tell you the, what's the challenge, the point challenge. And then next Thursday, I'm going to tell you the name of the students who met those challenges, okay? So I hope that you guys are well, like I said, and I hope to see you guys soon as well. So I hope that you guys have a great Tuesday. Bye.